Hey guys, and welcome to a brand new Let's Play. I am Astraf, and it gives me great pleasure to welcome you to this. Technically, I should be saying welcoming you back to this. PlayStation and welcoming you back means it can be only one game. Oh yeah. We are back! Welcome folks to Let's Play Digimon Digital Card Battle. And I'll let you uh, enjoy this very badass intro. That just proves, by the way, that Apocalymon was the most badass Digimon. He took on th four of the strongest hero Digimon. It took four of the strongest hero Digimon to kick his ass. Anyway, welcome folks to Let's Play Digimon Digital Card Battle. Welcoming back, as, you, as I should say. Okay, so, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, um, in 2011, I actually started a Let's Play of this game, but it was for, um, it was recording off my... Uh, television with a camera. Uh, I got about 11 parts in uh, and stopped and continued playing Pokemon Green, which is the, the Let's Play I wanted to complete first. Never came back to this because I don't have rechargeable batteries and it would have cost a fortune to get this Let's Play finished with the batteries. So, I waited a few years, I admit, but we are back. Digimon Digital Card Battle, we are back. So let's play. Welcome to Digital Card Battle. First, it's like the sound settings you, that can be changed during the game. Well, let's go for stereo. Why not? Next, select Polygon Battle settings. This can also be changed during the game. Now, Polygon Battle is uh, pretty much you get you get to see the battle happen instead of it just being just a random thing. Anyway, we'll put it on on for the moment, but we won't keep it on that long. Okay. Please proceed to user registration. Please enter your nickname for this world. Well, I wonder what this is gonna be. But this game has some really good music. I, lo I love this game. It's, there you go. Also, I love this game because I can put the full name in there. Yes. Please choose a partner card. You can choose Vmon, Hawkmon, or Armadillamon. Each partner card comes with a matching starter deck, so you can battle right from the start. Your partner will grow with every battle and will become a reliable ally in the battles you'll face. That is the most truthful thing you will see or hear in this Let's Play, because that is 100% true. We can choose from three decks. As you can see, this is a trading card game, obviously, hence it's called Digital Card Battle. This is a trading card game, and it's probably, I'd say, my favourite trading card video game game ever. It's a brilliant game, this is. Anyway, we can choose from the Armadillamon starter deck. Has rare Digimon. It's a, it's a defensive deck. Hawkmon, nature and tricky rares. Uh, it's a balanced deck. Good balance there. Or Vmon deck, fire and darkness, an offensive deck. Have a guess of which one I'm going to choose. It's gotta be the Vmon deck. It's an offensive deck. Anyway. This is how you appear in this world. We only have one character available. I hope you like him. He looked just like the guy from Digimon uh, World 1, I believe. 
pretty much even the same bleeding hat and yellow stuff. Anyway, user registration is complete. Would you like to know more about this world? Why not? Go on, you jump up. Whoa, that was bad. <laughs> Look at Ty's face on the right. That is just the most hilarious face ever, is Ty's face. Anyway. This is Cyber World. You play Digimon Digital Card Battles. There are always many opponents to play with. Do you want to learn about the game? Not really. Let's save your registration. Alright. Uh, checking memory card, okay. Right. We'll start a new save file. There's a little Debbie Vmon walking past. Look at Debbie, little cute. He's cute, isn't he? Look at you. Go on, you can make it. You can make it to the 100% area. Go on. You can do it. Go on. You need there. Go on. Yeah, he made it. Enjoy Digital Car Battle. Thank you very much, game. I'm sure I will. I actually had a run through, I believe, about two or three weeks ago and completed this game. Not to full completion, but I'm not sure if I want to do full completion because that will take years. I'm not sure if I want to just do storyline completion. I'm not sure. Anyway. Welcome to the world of Digital Card Battle. This message is for registered beginner card tamers. Trust me, I, I, I'm no beginner. I'm, I'm an expert at this. Your guide, Benamon, is waiting for you at the Battle Cafe. We recommend that you, that you beginner card tamers go through this tutorial. We hope you enjoy the world of Digital Card Battle. I don't want to go through a tutorial! No! I refuse to go through a tutorial. Well, there's Betamon there. Anyway, yes, a lot of these card tamers, I'd say probably 90, over 90% 90 of them, probably about 95, I'd say, actually, are Digimon. And all these Digimon will have their own specific decks and all this stuff. Anyway, so let's go to Betamon, shall we? Hi, I'm Betamon. I'm your guide to this world. I could, yeah, our character talks so I can use my actual voice. Hi, I'm Mastrath. Looks like you're just a rookie card tamer. Let me tell you about Digiland. I don't need to know. Sod off. I'm sure you already know, but this world revolves around card battles. There are many cities in Digiland. Just don't flash any of your Pokemon or Yu-Gi-Oh or Magic the Gathering or, uh... Oh god, what was that other one called? Um, Duel Masters. Good god. Good god, that, that card game series didn't last. Yu-Gi-Oh's lasted for years, Pokemon has, Magic the Gathering as well. Then there was, you know, card games that haven't done so well. Duel Masters is just one of them. Uh, it's one I can remember anyway. Anyway. And all sorts of people and Digimon enjoy card battles. Card battle tournaments are held at battle arenas in most cities. B battle arenas? Don't you mean Digimon gyms? No, we mean battle arenas. Shut up. That's right. There's one in Beginner City, too. Winning a tournament will get you the passcode to the next city. So if you want to go to the next city, you have to win the tournament. Oh, I see. That's right. After you win the battle arena, you can battle opponents in the battle cafe. You receive new cards by defeating your opponents. You can also make decks with auto deck. Other people's cards have useful info. You need to collect the correct or the right types of cards to make your, de your deck of choice. When you enter a city, you should first visit the Battle Cafe to get information. Also, mostly because the game actually doesn't let you go anywhere else. As you can see, uh, all the areas in green you're allowed to go to, all the areas in like sort of a dark red or sort of a bean orange color, baked bean orange color, um, you can't go through until you do a certain statistic, until you do a specific thing. You can get useful information by people uh, from the people hanging around at the Battle Cafe. For example, how to complete the game in three seconds. You turn it off. See, told you. Obvious. Yeah. I'm sure I'll become a battle master. I wish you good luck. I bet you say that to all the boys. Bow, ba, da, now, now, now. Okay. Thanks, Betamon. If you like, I could show you how to play a card battle. No, I think I'm good. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm good. Okay. Come and see me whenever you want a card battle. Sure, thanks. I'll see you later. I'm still got like a slight Jim Jim Carrey twang. So, all right, see you later. Alrighty that night. No, I'd already done that for one Let's Play. I'm not gonna do it for another one. Okay, um, let's talk to this guy who obviously can't see. Hey there, Sonny. I'm Babamon. Where the bloody hell are you? I can't see you. My hair's in the way. My hair's in front of my eyes. I 
do, do I even have eyes? I mean, are my eyes sort of like my nipples or something like that? I, I don't know. Come sit for a spell. Listen, when I was a rookie, Digimon card battling didn't actually happen because it was so long ago. I walked to school uphill, 40 miles in the snow both ways. Well, it wasn't uphill both ways, you know. Yeah. Yeah, you didn't think I'd say that, did you? Oh, I'm sorry, I've been rambling on about things again, haven't I? It was two sentences, pal. It... It... It wasn't, like, much. That's sort of like me say, Oh, by the way, today, um, I did some Let's Play parts, and then I got something to drink. Oh, I've been rambling, haven't I? Anyway, anyways, welcome. It looks like Benamon's already told you about this world. In that case, you should try at the battle arena. I'll be waiting for you at the battle ar at, ba at battle arena. Yes, not at the arena or at the battle arena. No, it's I'll be waiting for you at battle arena. Ha ha ha! Battle arena is now open. Those ready to rumble, come on down! What do you think we're Bob Barker or something? Anyway, let's leave and do as he says and go to the battle arena. I'm not scared. I'm getting my first gym badge. <laughs> I mean passcode. Battle Arena time! Who we got? We have Agumon up first. Agumon seems to follow me for some reason. Uh, I'm just reminding myself of Digimon Rumble Arena. Anyway, Agumon, attack 2, defense 1, Digivolve speed 1. I'm your first opponent! Come on! Thanks, sir. I'm your first opponent! Come on, let's battle, Ty! You're not Ty, you're just a bitch! I won't go easy on you! Sorry, I just can't let you win. Oh, how you going, little puddle? No, it's not that. Anyway, the Tricolor starter deck. An easy use deck with three colors. Okay, there are five colors in this um, in this game. They're like types in Pokemon. There's all. I will be making references to Pokemon quite a lot because this game is very similar to the Pokemon trading card game. Um. Anyway, let's battle. So there are five different. Uh, colors, aka types in this game. There's fire, water, nature, rare, and uh, darkness. Darkness is in black, fire is in uh, red, water is in blue, nature is in green, and rare is in yellow. So, yeah. Each of them sometimes, for example, counts the rest. For example, water normally counts as fire, fire counts as nature. Nature, I believe, counts as water, and um, darkness and rare sort of cancel each other out, I think. Not too sure. Maybe nature cancels out darkness. I don't know. Anyway, so here's the first thing we choose. We get to choose from one of two cards, as you can see. Uh, one has first turn on it, one has second turn on it. We pick one. Yeah, we pick the second turn, so we get to go second. The other one had a first turn on it. We always get to pick, which is the best thing. Anyway, so we came up with four cards in our hand, as you can see, and we draw every turn until we get four cards. Okay, so I've now kicked off with quite a good starting hand for me. Um, we have to pick a certain Digimon to enter the fray. So I'm going to enter Agumon. That's the end of the preparation phase. Uh, we can also press the triangle button during the preparation phase. If we don't like our hand, we can discard our entire hand to the discard pile and draw another four cards. Promise you only got 30 cards in your deck, as you can see. So don't squander them too much. Okay, um, now we've got a, if we can't, we don't have to, we don't want to, we could press the circle button to cancel. Uh, but we can put a Digimon in our Digi, uh, in our, in our pile. So we're going to pick Tyrannomon, since it doesn't have a support ability. We'll get under what support abilities are later. We're going to choose three different moves. A circle move, triangle move, and an X move. The X move is normally the weakest, but has a special ability on it. The, square, the uh, triangle is the all-rounder, and the circle is normally the strongest move, but it can be uh, it can be uh, stopped easily. There's more chance of it stopping. Anyway, what he's done there, this is the support section, where as you can see, where it says boost own attack but power by 300, that's a support effect. Some cards have support effects, some don't. What he's done is you can do what's called an all-or-nothing gamble, which is you draw the top card of your deck, and whatever it is, that is the support card. Um, this may work, this may not. So I'm going to use the, the All or Nothing Gamble as well. Oh! What was that? Did he use X? I'm guessing he used X. He used X, didn't he? 
Anyway, so Agumon's X move reduces my circle power to zero, which means I have no attack. Yep. Well, yep, he went for crossfire, he went for his X move. Anyway, this is the polygon battle, as you can see, we're, uh, we're fighting. Yeah! Anyway, so he pretty much wrecked me that turn. Absolutely wrecked me. Right. He's got enough Digipower to Digivolve, which is not good, into uh, Akatorimon, the fire bird thingy. Oh, I know what I should have done! No, 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 I couldn't have done that. Alright. No, 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 I, I think I, I might have done the right thing here. I've got X. I don't know if that's done enough. Anyway, so this is a champion level versus a rookie level. There's Akatorimon. There's Agumon. And come on. Damn it! Went for the dirty attack, which looks really odd. Anyway, there you go, and we were beaten. Akatorimon is the winner, and he goes one up in the match. First person to win three matches wins the battle. Okay, so I'm going to turn Polygon Battles off now, because we've seen that. Right. Here's Vmon, my partner card. If I win a battle with Vmon, that means that I gain um, an extra bit of experience at the end of this. Anyway. We're going to choose... Uh -huh. We're going to choose Vmon. And we're going to put this Moochomon in my Digi card pile. And we're going to Digivolve ourselves into Bergamon! Now, I know he's got an X ability where uh, it changes my circle attack power to zero. So I've gone for my triangle attack, and I'm going to use this attack chip, which increases all of my attack power by 300. And he did use the X attack, which is why I chose um, triangle in the first place. So now we're tied, but I have the advantage because I have the champion level. You can do this all the way up to ultimate level. Um, so, for example, if I was to pick an ultimate level and I had enough Digipower slot, as you can see, um, I, you can't really see it very well there, but if you see the DP+, plus, that's the amount of Digipower you need to Digivolve. The plus P is how much it would put in if it was put in the Digipower slot. Alright, let's go for a Gamble here. See what we get. He's also going for Gamble. He gets an okay card. Actually, he gets a very good card, because that card prevented me from beating him this turn. So, fair play, that was a very good move. Right. Here are option cards, as you can see we've already, we've already used one. Uh, again, these all do different things. The attack disc uh, circle, uh, own attack is doubled. Good move. Also, uh, recover and HP by 300. That's a good on a quick recovery floppy. Ah. Uh. Alright, I, I see what he's trying to do here, I think. Whoops, no, no, I didn't want to do that. Take that back. Right, I'm going to choose Bergamon here. I think I know what he's doing. So, here's my plan. Yes, I knew he was going to do that. Right, okay. My plan is... I'm going to use this Kakuamon. Because Kakuamon's ability... Decrease my attack power by 100 for the turn, but I gain 200 points, which will be enough for me to pretty much gain an advantage. So that's good. The problem is, I've, yeah, he's gonna Digivolve here. Sadly, into Kawagamon. Now, Kawagamon has enough attack power to beat me, which is a shame. I, the, uh, the problem is though, I've also been to combat here. I have my recovery floppy. There you go, recovery flop increased my health, and I survived the round. There you go, I survived the round. Perfect. So, Bergamon has survived the round. Ooh, Sukaimon, good card. Right, I'm going to put Darkizamon, because Darkizamon is not a good card. I don't like that card at all. Anyway, so we're going to use Meteor Wing, and we're going to beat Kawagamon and go 2-1 ahead. Oh, yes. He can't do anything about it, because uh, Gaborimon, which are the two Digimon he's got there. Snow Gaborimon and Ordinary Gaborimon, they don't have abilities, which is brilliant for me. I wonder if he's going to be able to... Is he going to be able to Digivolve again? He is, yes! Digivolve into Yanmamon. I'm going to use Muck Grinder, since I know I'm going to be beaten here. There's no way I'm going to win, so... What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to use Sukaimon. Its ability allows me to decrease my 
circle and my triangle attack to zero. But my X attack goes up by 200. Also, Bergeron's X attack allows me to attack first, so I get some damage off before he beats me. Sometimes you have to use a, mo a, a, a skill play like that, sometimes to get away from things. Um, hmm. Right, I'm going to discard, because that's not a good hand for me. Right, that's a better hand. That's a much better hand for me. Right, I'm going to do this, and I'm going to Digivolve into Dark Ezemon, even though I don't like to... Du di I don't like Dark Ezemon. Dark Ezemon is one of these odd Digimon where its triangle ability is actually better than its circle, which is good, but... You know, Owl. Anyway, I'm gonna go for an all-nothing gamble, because this may be the final ma the final move of the match. And it is! There you go. And that is a victory. And I win the match. There you go. So that's how you uh, compete. As you can see, I got a last chance gamble win since my uh, my last move I used an all-or-nothing gamble. I also get experience with my opponent and my partner Digimon, in this case Vmon, uh, get some experience points. Yes, and they level up, and they gain power. So yeah, I think it's something like level 5, rank 5 or 6. My circle attack goes up by 10, or whatever, and they get abilities and stuff like that. But we'll get onto that later. So really, your partner Digimon is going to become your strongest Digimon. And we get a prize pack. The basic pack, we have another Kakuamon, that's good. Clear Agumon and Florizamon. Alright, nice. Ugh, hate that sound. Anyway, we beat... Agumon. Wow, you beat me! You're really strong! You won't defeat me so easily next time! Yes, because we have our match against Babamon up next. Similar to Agumon's deck, only it is, um, it's two on all. Two on attack, two on defense, and two on digital speed. Anyway guys, I'm gonna call it a break here, because this video's been going on for about 20, 22 minutes. And I'm gonna be seeing you back here. For more Let's Play Digimon Digital Card Battle. I'll see you then.